Mike McCarthy's ninth training camp with the Packers is over. The final preseason game is tomorrow night against the Chiefs at Lambeau, one week before the opener in Seattle. The players lined up to say goodbye to the fans after their final practice this morning, and on Saturday, the team will say goodbye to 22 of those guys as they make the final roster cut from 75 to 53 players. Mike McCarthy and Ted Thompson will work together on the cuts, as they have for the previous eight years. Ted makes the final call, but that's not to say the lines don't get blurred from time to time. I don't know if I've ever met a coach that didn't think he was a great personnel guy, but uh, <laughs> I've never and I've never met a personnel guy that didn't think he was a hell of a coach either. So I, I think that's just our business. I always thought I was going to be a coach, so I think I'm kind of halfway there already. So I'm the, maybe the worst kind of personnel guy. We know that going in. Um, I think it helps us come to conclusions sometimes. Ted is, you know, he's the ultimate about being patient, being thorough. And if, uh, you know, if the deadline's 3 o'clock, you're probably going to hear about about 2.59. The Badgers head to Houston tomorrow for Saturday's game against LSU. One of the nation's top running back duos will be on display with Kenosha's Heisman Trophy candidate Melvin Gordon, backed up by sophomore Corey Clement, who averaged better than eight yards a carry last season, mostly in mop-up duty. Now he's out to prove he can do that in more pressure pack situations. This is more of a, a bigger role that I was looking for other than last year. I'm not just the kind of mop up guy as you know I was kind of known for. I'm just going to have to take advantage of each opportunity, you know, you know run hard downhill as, as the back I'm known for. You know, just make big plays for my team and I, hopefully we can come out with a victory. The Brewers lost 4-1 to at San Diego last night, but didn't lose any ground in the NL Central. And if they win the series finale against the Padres tonight, they will gain ground. And that's because the Pirates beat the Cardinals for the second straight day. Ike Davis hit the big home run last night for Pittsburgh, and he did it again today with a moonshot off Adam Wainwright. The Pirates win 3-1. So the Brewers are up two games right now in the wild card leading Cardinals. A win tonight would make it 2.5. The Pirates are 4.5 behind the Brewers, but just one game out of that final wild card spot. And finally, it's being hailed as maybe the worst ceremonial first pitch ever, worse than even 50 Cent. Last night in Houston, this Astros fan was chosen to throw out the first pitch, and she spiked it right into the ground. That's it for sports. We have more news after this.